Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. N-O-U-G-H-T-I-S pop icon Laura Marling has barely aged a day 16 years after her hit track and quitting fame. The singer released her first album when she was just 18 years old. Laura, 34, shot to fame with her debut single Ghosts in 2007, the lead single from her debut album Alas, I Cannot Swim. The star keeps fans updated with her life away from the spotlight, showing how she barely aged. The songstress previously rocked long blonde tresses, before going for a darker and shorter hair transformation. She has now returned to her blonde locks while sharing a glimpse at her family life, since welcoming her daughter last year. Although Laura had continued to perform and gig over the years, she also studied a master's degree in psychoanalysis and trained as a yoga teacher. The Ghost Singer, who was a huge hit throughout the early 2000s, announced last month that she wouldn't be touring anymore. Taking to TikTok, which she called her favorite social media she said that she's had to rethink how she creates music. So I'm going to explain very briefly why I'm on TikTok because in the comments people seem quite shocked to see me here, she told fans in a video. But I prefer TikTok to all other social media because I think it gives really amazing perspectives from really different people's lives. And I found it incredibly beneficial in early motherhood to see other people doing like quirky things that I was doing in early motherhood that I found very reassuring. But also because I've been touring since I was 16 and I'm now 34 and now a mother, that's not the headlines of my existence. But I'm not going to be going on tour anymore and I still want to share music and I think this is the best was of doing that. I'm also starting a substack which I'll keep people updated about. But I think it's amazing that I get to do TikTok and Substack and I look forward to telling you more. Substack is a platform that allows writers and content creators to publish newsletters. In May last year, she shared a snap of her with her daughter, revealing advice for fellow creatives. If you've ever been worried that your creativity will suffer if you have a baby, it won't, she wrote in the caption. She also moved to LA to train to be a yoga teacher after struggling with the pressures of performing music following an album release. It, the album, actually took a strange toll on me, performing it every night for a year, like it was an incantation I was reliving each time I toured it in a car, alone, mostly around America, she said. It was a real adventure. After it was done I felt like I would never be able to do it again. I moved to Los Angeles and trained as a yoga instructor thinking, I guess that I wouldn't be able to give any more musically. I was, perhaps, being a tad dramatic. But listening to it again today, I get glimpses of what it felt like to be in that total flux of early adulthood. I'm glad I have it as a reminder of being completely lost with every possibility still ahead. Laura moved to London when she was 16 to pursue a career in music. She also won the Brit Award for Best British Female Solo Artist in 2011.